uh, pregnant mm -hmm. meeting of the trails. Ready? Uh, yes, so um, I think we can dispense with the introductions. Uh, everybody's here except Jeff. Um, you can as you lose. Perfect. Did Jeff say he's not going to make it? Or uh, it I, yeah, I hadn't heard from him. And the uh, uh, review of the minutes. I'm sorry, I'm reading them right now. I uh, sent out this morning. I didn't have any. No, I don't. Any edits? No, just no. Okay. I make a motion we accept the minutes as printed. Second. All in favor? Next is um, review and discuss final draft of the new survey. Yes. I should did distribution. <laughs> he added it a lot. Can you tell? <laughs> no, you made it look good. There's only one thing I'm seeing that is a double. It's the cross country and then XC. Um, uh, cross country and X trail. XC trail. Yeah. yeah. Where did I see it? It's good to spell that out. Cross country is better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just XC just in case. case. Which that. types of trails would you like to see developed or improved? That's yeah, we've got cross country XC trails. So I don't see that. What number? We need to reload this. It doesn't have a number oh, okay. because I'm in that mode. So I wonder maybe you already fixed it and the response is because that was available before we edited the response. Somebody may have already checked it. There, Which we'll just, that could be. We'll just yeah. clear the slate, but yeah. Do you see all the responses from my class come in the next it's, day? It's awesome. I'm not gonna I I haven't had time. I didn't look Sorry. at I didn't look at what they did. They, they filled it out or they, yeah, yeah, so they filled class. it out. Like a practice, practice fill up. It, sure. oh, it was really? my engineering class. I should have done it my outdoor ed class, but I looked at it as a design thing. So, so I have a list of things, Chris, here that my class brought up, and you may have fixed it already. So okay. probably if I talk to you about yeah. it, I'm like um, one was cross training station. They didn't know what it was. So I don't know if cross training should be changed to like exercise station. And I, I explained what it was, but we're not going to be there to explain the surveys. Right. Clear. Yeah. But they suggest it's it's clear. Clear. Yeah. yeah. Cross training stations. And it, it might be fine. It might just exercise stations. So, yeah. 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 Right. And I assume it's like sit up, pull ups, monkey bars, like stuff like that. Um, those kind of stations. Yeah. Sometimes they have signs next yeah. to them. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Do an this. exercise or yeah. something. Yeah. It's a circuit yeah. workout. Yeah. Um, another question was what does <clears throat> mean by point to point? Travel. So I said maybe something something about the word destination instead of point to point. Destination to destination. Well, yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. I, or point of interest to point of interest. The problem is you need to get to it somehow. That's the only thing. Like where are they going to launch from? You know, if they're like leaving their house, you want a trail to be able to get to the store or get to the fairgrounds. And if so, well, you can't have a trail going to everybody's house. So. <laughs> What's that look like? I reworded some of that stuff, so we okay. should come back. Okay. To that. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what never in daylight. Oh, that was the time about. use. Never daylight. Never in daylight and always in time. There was a question about that. They didn't know. They're shying away from those words. Basically. To what extent would you approve the use of public roads oh. for for the point to point or destination to destination travel via ATV or golf cart side by side? Never daylight time only, maybe, or only when you're going point. Oh, we to talked point. about that at the meeting last. We did, too. yeah. How it's got two times and then it's got more of a location thing than a time thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's it's probably not proper format well you could just say pick all that apply they can give you multiple oh 
you won't be pick one. It would be pick as many as you that want. That would be more, yeah, because that way it gives you the option to. Well, yeah, it does. It's checkbox, so you can check. So you can check multiple. You can check multiple. You can say daytime, or you can say when you have from A to B. Although you want to remind people that that's an opportunity, so you have to put it check all that check all that apply all that apply check all. And for ones we don't want to do check all that apply, we should make sure it's a one. circle. Yeah, it's a choose one. Right. Yeah, I think there's one about uh, the usage of the trails. It's like daily, weekly, and then it lists all the seasons and stuff. So, And you can pick more than one. So my wife was like, well, if I pick seasonal, I pick winter and then daily. Does that mean I do That's daily perfect. and winter? It means you That's daily perfect. in the winter, but not in the summer. That's how I would interpret that. Yeah. You're right, though. That is. Yeah, because she's like, well, I could do it so daily. You and I could do daily and monthly. Yeah. What does that mean? So she's just like, what are you trying? What kind of information do you want me to be giving you? And how do you want, like, we want to know season frequency. Well, yes, then maybe right. it's just seasons. Well, I, put, I was just thinking, maybe you just put seasons. And when you click on it, you can specify and put in the fall. I do it or something just to, you know, separate some of the some of the options. Check all that apply and make it a seasonal question and just get rid of the daily, weekly, monthly part altogether. Does it just, does that really matter? For what we're looking for, we're really looking for what kind of activities on the trails and the season's going to dictate that. Yeah, the multi-use of the trails maybe. for seasons. But then there's that. Well, there's a separate question, which is so what's your who is frequency? this person? Is this person someone who's an occasional user of the right. trail? I think it's helpful to get the or it is this person frequency? You know, yeah. someone who does this every day. So you so, you could separate it and put your day month that versus the time. Yeah, as far that as could also help us time. in the future when it comes to maintenance of the trails. But like we know in the summer it's going to be <laughs> put your name here or something. <laughs> so, but that's way down the road. Right? Mm. It's another way to look at the data. Okay, so we could just separate that. How often do you use trails in our town? And put it as daily, weekly, monthly, and then put another question: What season do you frequent the most? Check all. No, check all that apply. Or what seasons? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, check all that apply, so they could choose. Okay. If there are three season users, they did nothing in the way. Or if they, well, in the in the top, it's are you resident year round or seasonal, and then it should coincide. Hopefully, you think mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, you wouldn't see that individual data though. Like on the spreadsheet, the final output, you wouldn't see that. But you can't go back to each survey and look at it probably. Right. Should we change the daily, weekly, monthly, rarely to be frequently, multiple times a week, um, occasionally, multiple times a month? Several times a year. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. right, because you could do several times a year, and how would you answer that question? I go on five times a year. Yeah, so. I don't do monthly. Yeah, that's, that's probably better <clears throat> yeah. to say frequently several times of, in a week mm -hmm. and, and, and then, you know, occasionally, you know, several times in a month or something, you know, I mean, it's probably because daily, there probably not many people are going to, like for myself, I'd be between daily and weekly, you know, so, mm -hmm. cause I'm like three times a week. You retired folks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I mean, there's very few people who would do it daily, but I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of people would do it like three times. So it's like, you know, mm -hmm. I think I think what you suggest is yeah. better. And do we need to factor in like hunting season or anything with trails and figuring out how we would post that or do anything around that stuff? I got a list of trail rules we can talk about I don't know, later. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying things. Yeah, because that's brain. that's yeah, no, that's good. That's on the trail rules side. More of a point of knowing. More of a point of common sense. Oh, what? be aware. Yeah. Don't wear your helmet with antlers. I've only had one bad <laughs> shot. It was much nicer after. In the head. In the head. I can play the. Yep. I'll snap. Mm -hmm. the dough. I've had one up here shot in the head, and I had one shot um, at Katie Tippetoe's when I was in high school. How did that really? Right in the eye, underneath it, with an arrow. Oh, an arrow. They were night hunting. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I wonder why they could tell the difference. <laughs> I will say, I have shined the light out back to, I don't have that many, two, those are deer. 
So the lights, the eyes are what definitely the same. Eyes? Same. They reflect just like deer do. Well, they, okay. well, there's green and red. Sometimes red the bear, green the deer. Green's in the horse. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it was a good <laughs> shot with the arrow. Yes. Was it like he'd look up and the arrow would go whoop, and then look down? No, we found the arrow and he was just a winged crazy all the way down and flapped. Oof. Yeah. You found the arrow. I don't think anybody dared go in with them after. Like retrieve it once they figured out they shot through the fence and stuff. Yeah. That was not fun. Oh. The fence didn't throw them off. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I had a question on trails versus roads on the fourth to last question. I don't know if it's still there, but um, I think it had to do with probably ATV, golf cart travel oh. on trails. Is it really just on the roads? Yeah. Trails in our town. Allow point to point. So that's that one where you got point to point or destination to destination, destination. And it's got trails versus maybe you know, extended shoulder. And is that, it depends on what we're going for with the question, I guess. We're talking golf carts, we're probably talking an extended, the wider sh shoulder. Right. Break down lane. Right. Mm. right. Although I have to say some may, may be trail slash road. Like if you go, and you have to go down by the camp to avoid the big funky thing where the giraffe is. The giraffe? Yep. It's a, it's a giraffe. Oh my God, there's a mama giraffe, baby giraffe, daddy giraffe right out of the wire, a bear. Okay, I'll put you on speaker. Hey, Chad. Yeah. Hey, Chad. Hey, Chad. Howdy. Hey, guys, sorry. It's okay. No it's worries. cool, you look much better this way. Oh, oh. ouch. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I, I'm sort of in the dark like you. <laughs> you're, not, you're, you're not that disadvantaged by that meeting. <laughs> we're, we're going over the survey. Some of us have Some of us got it and some of us did it. So, right. uh, so what else do you have for comments? Okay. So I had a, a few comments that other people gave me. Um, some of them were spelling errors. So, yeah. Uh, handicapped accessible. There were some questions. I changed the wording on that a little bit to try to make it a little clearer. Um, more so I said, would you be in favor of developing more trails that are accessible to users of all abilities? I think that's good. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Did you put it on there? I did. It's this, it, I just updated the question. All right, I will re-update. Okay, that's good. That's the one I remember reading just um, 20 minutes ago. There was a one where cycling was sing singled out as a reason for wanting to use the trails, and it didn't seem to fit, so I just deleted that particular option. Like, What is your primary reason for using or wanting to, to use the trails? Exercise, recreation, transportation, nature, observation, socializing, and there was cycling on there. So it's not a spot for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. More right. questions about ATV golf cart stuff. Yeah. Um, do you know? Suggestion. Maybe adding a question. Do you know anyone that might not see this survey that we should reach out to? Mm -hmm. Um, and another question, if you have land that you would consider making available, what uses would you consider allowing? Oh, that's great. Like yeah, that. that's, that's, that's worded well. Yeah. Would you want to so, put a spot for contact information on it then? Mm -hmm. Well, when, in the, the beginning of the survey, did they put their email? They, would yeah, that be the, the email contact? collects it. It's a required one. So if they answer yes to that one, we just know to go back in and what if make a list. What if it's a... Handwritten survey. Oh, well, it asks, asks for the email. email. Okay, it's still it, asked for. Yeah. yeah, we don't know if they'll give it to us. Right, for that one. But so it was the email self autofill on the autofill on the computer one. Yeah, yeah. With it, and when you print it out, is it still a doable survey? Yeah. So those are all the people that took it. 
There was a question of, yeah, I don't want to give my email. What are you going to do with the email? Did we put in here the purpose of why we're collecting the email? And maybe we should. Um, we're, not, we're not going to send you email. We're not going to spam we're not, you. No, no, we're just. We're not going to dis yeah, just, yeah, I mean, we're, we're not going to distribute. distribute. We're not going to. We're not going to. We're just doing it to authenticate the survey, so each one person is doing it. Yeah. Same. And and if someone doesn't have an email and has a paper survey, which is entirely possible, mm -hmm. at the polls, how do we? How what, do we what's your phone, phone number? We can't you force can't. that when when we get it turned in paper if it doesn't have a phone number on it or an email address on. It. Well, you could put We're still physical address. Consider it. What's that? You could put physical address. They don't say they want to give an email address. Or yeah, but nobody's going to enforce anything that they put on those paper copies. I mean, and, and it's not critical. It's not it's like not. it's a ballot. It's just a survey. Right. Yeah. Right. The, if they if they want to do it, box. they fill it out. Yeah. Essentially, you know, if they yeah. really want that. And it's not so, like we can't yeah. put a poster. Contact so maybe us. a disclaimer that says. Mm -hmm. um, in order for your survey to be counted, we need to know an email. email. We need to have a valid email. And we're using it just to authenticate that there's one response per email. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, but that one question that says, are you interested in using the land? Also suggests we'll be reaching out. Right. No. That no, and we could put, put under question. there. Yeah, you could put it in there. If answered yes, we will contact you in the future. Yeah. You know, I mean, that way should be. And then maybe the question is, do you want to be contacted? Yeah. If, if you're a landowner, would you like to be contacted about That's it? That's a good way to frame blah, it. Blah, blah, blah. Did you, so Chris, did you change that last question, the, the, the wording of that? Did you just change that? I have not changed the last two questions. Okay. Which question? This one. I no. have not changed okay. that. Chad, can you hear us okay? <clears throat> I can. Thank you. Great. Okay, so I should add a question about, do you know anyone that might not see this survey that we should reach out to? Yeah. And then I guess a blank for yeah. contact information or? Yeah, an email address. I don't know if that's gonna work very well or not. Yeah. 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 What is the they're getting this with who's the burden of content what's the yeah what, who's gonna really actually do anything about it though i mean it's a good question right but it's a follow-up are we actually gonna, we should actually yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, i mean you can suggest it with the qr code take a picture of it send it to your whoever you think needs it or if there's somebody out there that's really interested and somebody's taking the survey then they could just come to the meetings. We stuff. For stuff. There's another way to, if if they're truly interested, right. they would probably come to us or figure out a way to get yeah. contact with us. You could post it on there when they're putting in their survey. Hey, next meeting is da 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 da. Please, yeah. please come. Right. I mean, that's really what we're looking for is input, right? Yeah. Yeah. Put a list of dates. We can put a list of dates that we know about. Yeah. The next three meetings are at the bottom of the survey. So somebody will be like, oh, I'll click, take a picture with their phone yeah. and come up and one. So if you have land that you would consider making available, what uses would you consider allowing? Um, would we just modify this last question? Maybe we uh, just... I think it might be too far. Maybe we just add in there. Please let us know and... Um, Include information on what trail yeah, uses you would be willing to support or something. Mm -hmm. Be willing to allow so that I, way that they don't have to do check boxes or something. I think just, that's good. Yeah, yeah like a short free answer. Form. Would, would it be better? For yeah, right. check boxes. Or I just think, I think what you said. I think you can I, do a short answer. Yeah, just let them do a short answer. So they can have an opportunity to write. Yeah. I'll yeah, come to you. I'll come to the meeting. Mm -hmm. Reach out to me. Yeah. So, how are we going to contact those people? We can put in parentheses, please provide contact info. Hello. Oh, we'll have their email address from But we're saying, but we're saying, we're not going to use it. Well, <laughs> no, but you can ask permission in the, in the yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a landowner and you're interested in allowing use, you, is you it okay for us to email? Can we contact you at the yeah. email provider? Yeah. yeah. Or you can okay. join us. I think that's right. I, 
I might, then the last one I just I might just tweak the money parcel of land that you would be would like to see okay. if you may be willing to make accessible to the public for trails. You as a landowner have a parcel of land that you would be willing to allow access for public trails. Yeah. Well, disclaimer, state of Maine does not allow people to sue if they get injured on your land. Yeah. Good information. I mean, because a lot of people say, no, if someone gets hurt, I'm going to get sued. I mean, law says you can't. Really? Yeah, that's something that. I think I heard that trails from, that, Yeah, Chris Rose. There are tea trails. Tom Odie's knew that. He's got the he's got the law written out right there because he's got the tree farm up there. He wants people walk around the tree farm and get hurt and be like, yeah, it's unless you plainly like dig a pit and put spikes in the bottom and cover it. Yeah, negligence. Now you're taking the fun out of it. Yeah, I know. You can dig a pit with spikes and you just can't cover it. Right, just reckless, like potential or reckless disposition. Right, right away. Okay. 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 Looks good. Yeah, nice yeah. job. Who would have thought? That's hey. great. Building a survey was so hard. Yeah, it's crazy. I just had to make a few changes, but I want to go back to the ATV stops. Yeah. Because, um, So well, I changed the order of the, the three ATV related questions. Um, so I, the first one I said, would you support the creation of ATV slash golf cart slash side by side accessible trails in our town and allow point to point travel on certain roads? Yes, no, maybe. The second one, if ATV, golf cart, side-by-side -side accessible trails are created and access to some town roads is allowed to connect to points of interest, what points of interest would you like them to connect to? So far. Check all that apply. And it has local businesses, historic areas, school areas, center beach, other. Um, and they could check all that apply and they could fill in other with multiple if they wanted to, okay? Yeah, I don't, we don't have the ability yet to type in words if you Still, choose other. It doesn't? Well, no. The third question is, to what extent would you approve the use of public roads for point-to-point -point travel via ATV, golf cart, side-by-side? -side? State and federal laws would apply. Check all that apply. Um, and that says... Never daylight point to point. I'm not sure the why we have point to point on there because we're already saying that we're only specifically targeting point to point travel. So I think that question could come out. I think which one? The last one. To what extent would you approve? We're already asking if you approve it. I don't know. I think you get rid of that question. You just shorten the survey and I don't know that we get much. Because I think if we get the approval up here, like, hey, we're looking to see it go to these different places, then if we come out with an, the next step, it would be, what are you thinking for the usage of it? Daylight, not daylight, or, you know, that's the next. The restrictions. The next set of rules, per se. Right, and then, I mean, there's some state rules that are going to apply right. to that anyway, so it might not be sur surveyable. The survey data might not be. Usable. usable. Yeah. Uh, do we need a place on the two first questions that say something about no? <laughs> I do not approve of it. You got that. Well, yeah, so what do you do with the one that says the first question lumps together 
trails yep. and point-to-point -point travel on roads. So somebody might be in favor of trails, but not in favor of point-to-point -point travel on roads, which okay. is really hard. Okay. Because you, know, you can't. We're not going to jump the road at least. Right. Yeah. Um, but we could break that into two questions. So you support the creation of trails and would you support point-to-point -point travel on certain roads to connect ATV trails and other points of interest? For a primary survey or a survey that's... I think it's fine. okay. Yeah, I, I think... I think we maybe... maybe. Oh, we're we gonna do, have do five. Mm, okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think, I think it's should sort of... we keep that third question, or should we? Uh, should the, we the daylight, the never daylight. Yeah. Yeah. Point. And so it's okay. Yeah. Um, well, I think I think a third question <clears throat> adds value because it gives us a sense of how you know to to what level people. Tolerate the first one. Tolerate the change. So we have the first I mean, there are going to be some people that are just going to be like, no. Right. Right. Yeah, this definitely mm -hmm. gives them the option to say never. Right. right. But no is no is the answer to the first ATV question. Yes, no, or maybe. I guess so you're going to have an option for that. Well, it softens it a bit because it's it's a it's putting in potential restrictions. So would right. you be comfortable? If we added these restrictions, right? Maybe or it's not going to matter. They, yeah. they'll never want it. So should we right. add? It is decent data, I think. Should we add yes, no, maybe? I need more information to the first question. To the first question, or I don't know. Maybe or like, with limitations, instead of maybe, it could be with limitations. Uh, that would solve it. With, with restrictions, yeah. With restrictions, and then you can take out safety that restrictions. One. Safety protocols. Right. That would that would kind of put it. Yeah. 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 You're talking about the so the first one would say first one. yes, no, and potentially with, with restrictions. Maybe with limitations or yeah. Okay. And that would that would sort limits. of alleviate the need for that other question. Yeah. Yeah. Let me hear the first one again. Would you support the creation of ATV golf car side by side accessible trails in our town and allow point to point travel on certain roads? And yes, the no. and the choices are yes, yes, no, yes maybe. no, maybe. Yeah. So maybe it's. Yes, no. With uh, restrictions. With certain possibly with restrictions. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> with with certain which is the maybe, but so, right. With limitations yes. or with, with safety restrictions. Right. I think the limitations is good because then it's like everything's kind of up for discussion. It's not like oh restrictions, but it's not really up for discussion because there's those laws we right. can go by. And with you could even say with safety restrictions, and then you could say with Time restrictions or seasonal put, restrictions. In safety, the seat, yeah. next to the with restrictions, time, season, safety, yeah, as options. Yeah. You could see what the restrictions are, so their brain's thinking in the direction we want them to think in. I think we, I think it's just with restrictions because then we're just trying to get we're just trying to gauge interest, uh, and then the discussion is what restrictions are after that, and then if people are interested, then they can talk. Yeah, I think I think it's just kind of just like, like I think, I think with the restriction probably yeah, for now. Okay. Thumbs up. So maybe and cut the third with restrictions. restrictions. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Sorry, Sean. He hung up on us. <laughs> yeah, Chad's in the building. Oh, Chad's in the neighborhood. Up. In the building. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Great fact, I'm just going to stay out of my car. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's looking through no, the window. No, he's just the office. Right, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 he's looking through the window. It's like, oh, Dave's here. I'm just going to see. He's in the window. All right, I'm deleting the third question. Isn't okay, it? so... You know, for one of those disclaimers at the top, the survey is yeah. could take no more than five minutes. Fill <laughs> <laughs> kind of out an official US survey is that time feature.
Okay, we're ready to move on. Are you ready? Are you good? Um, well, I think we need probably let's, let's finalize and then we could sort of maybe vote. <laughs> Come on. We're going to stick to meeting dates on that, the bottom of the survey. If you're interested, I think come to meetings. I think it would have to be on the page that's finalized with a QR code on it. Um, you know what I mean? Like at the at the dumpster survey here, if you've hand done it. I think we could on the top put the next three up there, maybe. But I don't think oh, it needs to be another oh, question. Our meeting date? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But they're gonna take a picture of it and walk away from the survey. And the picture is only gonna be of the QR code. Right, because because it just grabs the QR code, right? It doesn't grab the. Yeah, but we. Can... It might not be it might not be important. I mean, they can look it up and figure it out on some sort of town website, probably. I wouldn't know how to do it, but. You can put it in there on the top as yeah, a header or something. Yeah. Just in this. Oh, you can do it just over the well, last. Let's find the Zoom link. I tried finding it right at seven, but I couldn't find it anymore. Oh, you mean like on the town website? Yeah. I don't um, know if it was. I think we usually share. Secret handshake okay. only. Yeah. It's, in, it's in secret Just room. <laughs> you have to. You have to know. You have to know the secret <laughs> password. <laughs> I, there, there was a like a state website where if you. Clicked in one particular spot, it would take you to like some Just special you. place. Gotcha. And, and it was like, you know, the button was like this big. Yeah. They were using it for development. Like, <laughs> finding the secret place to go to find information out. Yeah. Like, you, as a landowner, have a parcel of land that you would be willing to allow uh, access. For trails, so public trails or public, public trails. trails. You, as a landowner, have a parcel of land that you would be willing to allow access for public trails. Please let us know what uses you would consider allowing. Note that Maine law, Title 14159A, does not hold landowners <laughs> liable for injuries or accidents that occur unless willful misconduct is present. It includes the pit. Covered with leaves, Bungie according stuff. to Sean. You can't cover it with leaves. Oh, the rest oh. of it can have a pit with spikes. You just can't have it covered. <laughs> well, and it needs to be appropriately signed. <laughs> <laughs> Deer, walk here. D-E-R. 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 Can we contact you? The, 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 the game you just provided. It's awesome. All right. Yeah, it's like now. <laughs> Not that old. I think that's good. Cool. So we do have the uh, the other things where we don't know how to put in. I don't know if we have a way of putting in text along with somebody says other. Some of these have a shadowed other, like it says yeah, other I don't know what underneath. That is. And I don't know if you took it, if you could type in there. That's what I think I put it in there for. Try it. So for question, well, I don't know. I should delete this other if we specify. So the, it's the old right behind this building. The question that asks, how could the town become more bike friendly? Can somebody type, and it has a blank for your answer. Can somebody type that in? If it's a yes. short answer, yes. Okay. But it's just, it's, it's just when we have a combination of a box and then. It's, yes, yeah, those ones where it says other and then there's a gray other. I think if you check other, that becomes a line. But I don't know how to, this doesn't recognize me as, as getting out of its own box to, to take this. Only survey, right? I'm not online. We need to add something at the top. The next three meetings about the email address. How we are not 
Yeah. So I think other than that, all the changes are in there. Other than Do you laugh on that? Don't add odds, but so I guess that'd be the other way. Is it? Let me check. Other, you could have another line say, if you checked other, please provide the information that you. Yeah, have. it should it should open up that line for you to type what you want. You think it? You think it does? I think it does. Okay, that would that I'm would not be a, sure. that would be good if it did. But you can't have it, it be a short answer and the checkbox one. That's the only thing. Right. It's not that be so good. So I just deleted some of the others and I replaced it with the grayed out other. Mm -hmm. So maybe that will work. I don't know. Have, have the spouses look at it again or something. <laughs> or that significant others. I can type in. I'm looking at it right now. You, are you able to? Yeah. All right. Okay. Nice I'm still trying to get it on my phone. Thank you. My hotspot is it's password. Gold star. I think it's interesting. With eight responses, we had a 50-50 split. On the, are you aware that there are currently separate trails across country skiing, snowmobile hiking, and a story walk? They probably asked me to. Have that with my class. I, but I think it's great. I mean, it shows that there's a lot more awareness out there. Mm. Okay. I Thank think you, we can Chris. work on that. Thank you. Um, it, it was really good. Thank you. So that's the first time that I've used this Google Form stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice job. laughs> we can add, if, if we're okay with the rest of it, we can figure out how to add it. We can just add, add the disclaimer at the yeah. top and then yeah. the um, three dates of upcoming meetings that they want to see them. They have them. Okay. So, with those okay. changes, is there a motion to uh, issue the survey as? I make a motion we issue the survey with the uh, expected changes on email and mm -hmm. dates. During election day. During election day. That we're doing. Distributed. Distributed during election day electronically and. Well, you... can't we just. The school? No. Permission? I, could, I, could I was going to say, you time, but no, I think we need permission at election day to do that. Oh, no, they're aware that it's coming. I, okay. we, I made the town manager and the select board aware. So I it's told that too. Yeah. Somebody okay. is printing out copies and just having printed copies here as well. Yeah. So we'll need to make sure that that happens either. Someone either from our committee or from the town needs to teach. To make sure this, that what, 100, 150? How many do we need? Mm. 500? 500. Okay. There's going to be about 2,000 voters. <laughs> Really? Oh, yeah. In fact, we probably have to do it a little bit sooner because people are starting to vote now. So could we, could we, if it's ready, could we have it available at the town hall for people who are voting early? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Where do we make yeah. them? Do, like, I don't mind making copies. I can make a copy machine work. But do I copy it down there or do I use this one up here? Yeah. Either one? way. Okay. Yeah. So 500 copies and I'll put 100 down there. Yeah. You think? Yeah, for people at the counter. For early, early birds. Yeah. There was three people voting when I was in there. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I was only in there. For yeah, days. yeah, they're doing that now. Okay. So, um, and I'll create the QR. I mean, who's running? And well, read your postcards. Yeah, you got all that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ken, Ken, who? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's got <laughs> the yeah. um, <laughs> Could you go down and I can go down tomorrow. Tomorrow, and you'll probably need to spend a few minutes with the counter staff just to say, yes. can you give this out? And this is what this is about. Yeah. Just kind of walk them through. Yep, will do. I've got time tomorrow to do that in the morning. Right. So there was a motion, second? A second. Favor? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> when, are we, when do we publish on Facebook or whatever? Just ask. Who do we get the link to? Justin. 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 He'll put it on the website and on the Facebook. 
All right, so I'll just yeah. either meet with that or give him the whole page with it all on there for him to do it. So we can do that as soon as we're ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The only thing I yeah, worry so. about is if we send it out early and somehow it goes around and then people go to vote and they don't remember, they took the survey and they scan it and start doing it again. It only allows one. If right. they give us the same okay. email, if they, if they use it, yeah. email them. Okay. Then you'd be like, eh, sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. well, we can just delete that line off the spreadsheet. Okay. Yeah. And at the town office, in addition to the hard copies, you're going to be able to scan? Yes, I will make okay. a... Okay. Don't want to take the hard copy? Take the picture, please. Sounds good. Great. Because that's easier that's for cool. us. <laughs> that's great. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's see. Next item. No. So yeah, I think it's a good we, we're on to um, the, uh, the uh, OSI work. So um, what are the dates now? Uh, uh, we said the 22nd. He has blocked off 22nd and 23rd. Um, <clears throat> He, he's flexible on time. Um, I suggested 9 a.m. Uh, he just needs a contact. I, I won't be able to make either day, unfortunately. Okay. I left it open. I'll be right there. Okay. Um, 22nd. Um, on the 22nd. Morning is good. The original time is not. Oh, they have Monday. Is that lunch? Is 22nd Tuesday or Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. 20. I, I just remember my guy can only do Tuesday. He could do Monday. So, okay. So, do I send. 9 a.m. 22nd Tuesday information to the grounds guy. I would imagine that's where we want to start. Yeah. yeah. And we know how long I just couldn't early is better. Probably yeah. is it an all day. So you're gonna stop at the school office to find their guy. That's probably the best idea. Uh we should, I mean, probably the best thing is somebody from the committee has Steve's cell phone or email. He seems to connect with him that day. Tell them where to go. Just have me here, right? There. Yeah, maybe meeting here. I think yeah. I think this is better to, to start here. Have, yeah. Talk for a little. Yeah. Have them with us. Yeah. Then go over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe at the RSU two at nine thirty. Have the groundskeeper available. Nine thirty. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is he gonna? Is is the grounds guy gonna come over here? I could try to send there. I don't know. Yeah. Have him go over at nine. Get in on the okay. guys. Be here at nine. What do we call this place? Tech building. 117. Yeah. Correct building. I think that would make sense if you could come over here. Okay. Let's go back. Someone probably ought to give Justin a heads up so he blocks it off. I'll talk to him tomorrow. Uh, probably just need that one day for starting it with the trail we're looking at. Probably need that one day for the grounds guy. Yeah. Probably in a couple hours. I would think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't think too, too much. And is there paperwork that Justin needs to sign an agreement or anything like that? Uh, so Justin signed it. I got the executed copy back from OSI today. So okay. I can share that with the town so that that's on file. Excellent. Chris, do you have the map again? The, the like where we start over there, or are you coming on in on that one on the Tuesday? Yeah, I can be here one of the days. I definitely can't be here both. Maybe I could be, you know, in I'm the out. morning on Tuesday and part of the day. What time do you guys start on Wednesday? Morning is, I'm not available. Either. Wednesday, the, the, the thing I got was at, at 3 p.m. on Wednesday. Debrief. Yeah, so he's going to, he's going to come here Tuesday, see see what we have for kind of trails, how long it's going to take him to do things. Um, at that point, he'll probably have a better idea of what time he could come back Wednesday. Um, but the plan would be, I think, to meet at 3 p.m. to do a debrief, whether he comes later in the day on Wednesday, if he doesn't need to be here all day. If he feels like he needs to be here all day, the rest of the things he can work right. on Wednesday. Is he, is he going to um, do any kind of drive around town? Or is, it, is that you know, Tuesday or Wednesday? Or not sure. That would probably be depending on how long it takes him to go through these trails. Okay. Whether he can do it Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday morning. 
Does he need someone with him the whole time? I think he would have to have somebody. Yeah, around. you're going to have yeah, to have somebody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want him to say, look at him, it's fine. We really we need, need help. help. Yeah, because we need a driver. We're leaving right? leaving this meeting today, we have to have a plan of where he's yeah, going yeah. for a second, third, fourth. Yeah. So I'm, I don't mind driving. I like it's open. I don't mind driving him around and doing that. You got to give me point A, B, C, and D. I'd like to be here too on Tuesday. I'll put that in. Yeah. I unfortunately am not available Wednesday. I've a meeting in Massachusetts that day. So Wednesday is nuts for me, but Tuesday is wide open all day. So Tuesday I could do I could do the three on Wednesday. Wednesday I could do the afternoon, like after or age friendly meeting, like the twelve thirty. If there's enough people here for the walk around stuff on Tuesday, I don't I think it's I don't see the, the need to be here for that. Yeah. Um but I can who else is going to be here Tuesday if he wants to come out and see other trails? Okay, I think we have enough people to choose. Tuesday, Tuesday seems good. Wednesday seems sparse. Yeah. But Unless he wants to I start can, later. Well, I can do Wednesday. I can do Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday yeah. in the afternoon. I've got some time on Wednesday, too. Are we thinking early Tuesday? release day? It is. And see that I put stuff kids, in. Are we thinking to try to get him to the those trails over by Fredericks? Yeah, that's so I can volunteer my time that Tuesday and try to get him to go all those places, too, if he's got the time that day. Let's yeah, make I a, figured he wouldn't be doing that until Wednesday. Okay. So, so we're saying particularly RC2. RC2 start. Everyone sending out that was in Cumston or for on, on Tuesday? Yeah. Cumston is pretty easy. I think, I think that's what we're doing. But uh, do any of us know that trail? The one behind Cumston? Uh -huh. Yeah. It's not that bad to get in there. No, I just don't know the. I don't know what the trail is. Yeah, yeah we can ask Dennis. We can ask Dennis. Yeah, it seems wise every day. I guess that's the thing. I mean, uh, I I did work on the Club Bush Hog last mm -hmm. night, and I think that is all set. So I'll check with my uncle. He was going to use it today. Um, I did send him a message, but I just haven't heard anything back. But if that's all set, I can plan on doing some bush hogging for. Across the road. Okay. Um, if you need help, the only that, issue will probably be where the snowmobile trail is from, like where the parking lot is across towards where the water line used to go down through. That's super wet. I don't know that I dare. Rain, sure. I don't know that I dare go through there without mm -hmm. running everything up. But I could absolutely come in from like Angela and uh, Scott Emery's up, up their driveway where the well house used to be, and kind of go out towards Curtis's that way. Well, that's what I did mid summer, so it's not going to be that bad. I walked through there the day of caring just to see uh -huh. what it was and like. Again, it was so it you was were wet. Yeah, and I again, uh, as far as the uh, rock floor, just that field area by where the well house was. So, um, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was kind of wet that day, even. Uh, so, I'm sure after this rain, it's super soaked. So, uh, that's the RSU land. We got a map to look at, and you'd be there for that. So, so he wasn't going to be there on there. Tuesday. Be We've got a map, but the RSU two. Yeah, the RSU two to clarify the RS two trail comes in on the snowmobile trail, goes down, and at some point it cuts it up. Did it go to the water house? Not the water house. Yes, so that is, yeah, yeah, so this is, I don't know, I don't know what this is. I don't know, I don't know what this link is. This is a line. That's, that's along Catherine's property. Is this, so, this one right here, I don't know where that yeah, is. Yeah, that's me. That's going to be where you okay. just clear. This is the, yeah. uh, the water house, I think, right? That's the water house. And then, yeah. yeah, and that, yeah. Now, this is, this is trail boat. here. Yeah. yeah. It's already a snowmobile trail. But at some point, right, it cuts off. Right to this point, so it's there, snowmobile, cuts off, trail. snowmobile trail. But we did talk about if we are looking to do this as public property, we may, or public trails, we're only going across the back corner of Rodney and Wanda Curtis's. I think we had talked about maybe rerouting the trail and just kind of coming across yeah. this way. Or they, I don't right know that scared. we want to go down that way. I, I don't know. But Someday, that'd be great. For it access, would be, but, um, yeah. for sure. So this is all the clear. Yeah. This is the you come up, it's a point four. So oh, okay. this is all 
line that's the you should right be able to see two lines kind of going there the one yeah towards Catherine is on her property and the one yeah. on the other side is on the other so, side yeah of the you're following the rock wall right, right there right. Oh. back over i am um, I, bla I blackened it in because when I photocopied it, it was a red trail on a green background. Yeah. Oh. And I couldn't see anything, so I went in, and that's why it's so ugly. Chris's was much nicer, but my photocopy. I mean, I've got the dashes on there, too. Like, did you? Yeah, I think yeah. that's a great, definitely should explore that upper. That's on the edges of the drainage. That you... Right. It's right along the top of the berms. Yeah. Got and then this is thick. Uh... This, is, this is right between here and here is thick grass and, and wet because it's Water flows. Put a there. small bridge across that, I think, would be absolutely. Or just build it up with some culverts. I think yeah. it'll dry it out yeah. nicely. Yeah. But that's for. So what we walked yeah. this summer. Sorry about that. Woods. <laughs> how how the MLA we walked. <clears throat> we walked. Yeah. Okay. And then we kind of just walked here. That's but right. We didn't we didn't walk that whole thing. Okay. We walked through the woods here. So in, as far as bush hogging, what are we thinking? Uh, I mean, this is where I'm concerned. I don't know that I can go. Down here? Well, this is where this, no, this is where it's the thickest. Right. Uh, yeah, coming off where that well house is, it's really bad right there, which I can absolutely get that um, out to where the trail kind of goes into the woods. And then I think Catherine's is pretty good basically from this point up, yeah, yeah. All the way back do we there. want basically yeah, yeah, yeah. down along this side of the field to where that trail is that we cut years ago? That's well, not, that's, what do you think about that? Well, that, that, do you think the school would be okay with us, with us going down through this stretch? They approved this map. Okay. So, so that, yeah, that's really tall grass. And I, like yeah, I, bush I, hog, yeah. I bush hog this, I backed up to here, and then I pulled out this way. So that was midsummer. This was clear. All the okay. Way there. But like you said, if it grew up there, I did all the way to here too. So if this grew yeah, up that way. So this up. isn't too bad. It's from here. This yeah, it's way. A ball. I didn't that's, touch that's, that. That's that's I didn't know that was our property. So yeah, I think if, if you could do this okay. and this, then at least we can walk through and it's not walking yeah. through. Okay. Like Chad, walk the other through. thing, beautiful. <laughs> if you want, park, park, drop it and park and go down, go down through mine and see how far you can get okay. down there and go access it that way if you need to. Okay. May give you a little more yep. room. Tractor may beat up that new ground. It's muddy and not covered in vegetation yet. Tractor on it a couple of times. It's okay. Just because that rain we just mm -hmm. had. But... And I just put the bucket down on the back. That rest of the way. only got a bit of rain. Uh, yeah. Is it really that wet from I, that little rain? I oh, thought well, that's so scary. Actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my, that is that never wet? dry. That well, well, I know there's a lot of stuff that's never is. dry. That's been dry for a long time. Yeah, even when yeah. it was dry, it wasn't. Ben got out on the bottom. Make a test. Big really didn't big. sink. That'd be good for him to look at. Yeah, yeah. a little wet. Yeah. Uh, okay, so after so we got se second priorities comes to well, so this yeah. Um, do we want to I made look point. around Elmston yeah. Park? Yeah. Like, you know, we've, we've talked in the past about building a trail here at Elmston Park. I think, um, we don't have permission to look all the way down to Blue Road, but it is right here. Melanie and um, Marty have both said it's okay if we yeah. have trail use down through there all seasons. Um, Where's that? Sorry. We just have one That's landowner so that we haven't asked for, or we haven't gotten approval. But is it worth, you know, looking at that also just as, a, as an opportunity? But while he's here looking at that, and then Catherine, if you're willing to let him walk around the, the back trail that you yeah. have around your property, um, maybe, I'll probably throw him on a four wheeler and tell him let's go. Yeah. Um, and I'll probably I'm gonna pull Finn and have him take him down because he's done a lot of the work on that. Um, to get the two trails that are down there going. Um, if you if you're willing to make that accessible, yeah. then that's oh, something that we should be you know, please do consider. So RSU two Catherine. Kind of all the stuff right around here. <laughs> but it'd be nice to, to do first. 
Yeah. And then, so well, you know, the other, I didn't know I'm still seeing or behind your house at all. Frederick Street. Oh, yeah, Frederick Street. I, like I, I have not. Yes. We'll see where that yeah, falls on the priority list. It's yeah. just time. Yeah. yeah. So, what I mean, one thing we should make clear, though, is what we do, he does the stuff is that this, this is Tom. Power, this is, yep. the, and this is the uh, feasibility study. Yep. You know, his, the, the other stuff is really sort of uh, assessment for future, future use. Yeah. But this is a pretty small. Did we also want to add on, like, around the field itself, just for, I know we had talked about maybe down over the lower side of the, and discharge yeah, around Main Street somewhere. Uh, yeah. I would come up by, by you know, that or just, just a loop around, around, around the, field. the field just to add on oh, extra right distance. And, and even though we drew this map, it, feel free to walk right. in the woods anywhere down there. Yeah. Right. Um, right. He right. says it would be better here. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll take the maps, and then if we start doing you want to add branches that. to it, I'll start drawing them in. You yeah. want to add that to that? Well, well and I've got the extract. Just so you remember. The, that's taking the them around, we can track the mm -hmm. whole thing and go down. I can make a new map on it and, and kind of yeah. image it to you guys, too. You might as well pay for it. Um, I, I held off on the yeah. thing around the trail, around the athletic fields when I drew that map because... Rick had said that they were looking at redoing the athletic fields over the next couple of years. Oh, right. And right. So yeah, doing yeah, it to redo right. it is yeah, we, futile. We wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, but but if the timing worked out, then maybe maybe we could ask the RSU that this is what we'd like to do. Can, can be put the house funding this other stuff? Maybe you could do that portion of it. That'd be a great point of interest, right? Like if you walk from Main Street through the woods to a track that you can meet your friends at and walk around mm -hmm. in a circle and then leave. That's that'd be a good connector for that hub for sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, and they're offering it to kids too to be able to bike that back set possibly. Be nice to be able to get, avoid you know, the street. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Safer. So mm -hmm. one. Or issue two, two Catherine's. Yeah. Next comes to yeah. maybe down to Blue Road. You said up here, fairgrounds. Is that what we're saying? Yes. Comes to Comes to Comston, sorry, comes to Park. Park. Okay, the fairgrounds. fairgrounds. No kidding. Oh, really? Yeah, so fairgrounds. Three that was there was an issue with that with the with trustees, the, yeah, the restriction. Then. What are we looking for there? Uh, Just the person that shows them. I think you're looking perimeter wise, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think so. Although, with the perimeter? perimeter? Uh, are they still. They have so many things of the, like the graders are there, the big for the, for the main street stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Like you can't get in on the down part, but we can come up onto the other part and go around the edge that way. And it loops into the trail that cuts through here. Yep. So That's I can fair. show them that. Potential spam. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a well, robo. You need to press what for a live person? <laughs> hey, robo. <-cop. laughs> Hi, this is Ken Atkinson. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So Compton Park Fairgrounds, essentially. And then and head then down to Compton Hall. Okay, and then uh, so just so I'm following here, what's kind of the distance? Just so I can give him a guide. Of the length easy. of the trail or the length of kind of what we've just just a ballpark of how many potential miles. Chris, how big is the trail at school? It's a half mile. Yeah, maybe it's a mile total. So a mile loop at the school, and then behind your place. This side of the road's point. Four point six. If you do the whole thing, and then over the other side, I think we're at like point eight or point nine ish. Yeah. And then the yeah. We're doing perimeter. Yeah. 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 I'll say it's like. And then comes to home. Now there's a trail miles. going from the fairgrounds to Blue, Blue Road. Both direct. Both parts of Blue Road. What's this? No, North no, Hill, Hill and Blue Road. North there's Blue. one going to North Hill, and the other side goes to Blue Road. So there's right. ways to get in and out of the fairground on trails, which. Would be part of the snowmobile survey, I would think. Right. Right. Okay. 
I'm sorry, oh, then where? And then I would say our trails. I would say yeah, that for sure. So it's after Compton Hall, number five would be. And at the moment, we're calling those Fredrickson's Fields, right? Cross country. Yeah. Yeah. So that loop is an hour and a half. Then over here, they're doing two hours, maybe this three, four. Um, so he's got two days. I mean, he's got. Right, he's that's what I'm wondering. Like, you know, he may, he may want to do some on Wednesday. Yeah. So I, mean, I don't know if he wants to look at. He may tap out and be like, "I need to go get this done and organized, and then come back fresh." Yeah. Can you? He he, he may want to. Can you do Wednesday, go. Chris, or no? Yeah, I can do. So you can meet one of the days. So whatever. I can meet one of the days. Well, you got. Or I could meet. So you know that. As you well. know, for a few hours on both days, I just can't take out all the no, no. days. Yeah. So. No, that's what we're trying to maximize. I can, maximize you can take off time. Tuesday. I got Tuesday. Yeah, and I didn't put anything in I've Tuesday. Got, I could do Wednesday. Wednesday. I could do Tuesday morning and Wednesday afternoon. Okay. And I can yeah, still be here for Tuesday afternoon as well. So I, then I can do Wednesday afternoon. So the Nordic ski trails, those one access is from next to my house. It does the Sanborn Fields, goes into the woods through Tom Oji's land. So the first one, and then from OG's land, it goes up and around. And then there's also a new loop onto um, your you know, shards yeah. land. So there's quite a bit of trail in there. What's the this? There's a lot of loops, but what are the? It's going to be total of maybe four miles. Four miles. Um, These are fantastic opportunity trails. Maybe uh, yeah, a lot of options, but. Um, mm -hmm. Super How does you survey them in a timely manner? Yeah. They're accessible with a side by side gator. You take the gator out. Get that thing stuck too much. <laughs> right. Well, I think maybe I have a bicep. So it'll be, I think <laughs> maybe the first is done. <laughs> Dude, you're right on the bars. It's good. It, it might be <laughs> best the first when we talk to him on Tuesday. <laughs> I think that might be. I think that might be, make sense and tell him sort of here's where we're looking at. Here's the detail stuff. Here's you know we've got some other things going on and sort of assess. But what makes sense to you? You know, uh, yeah. in terms of walking. Right. And what would you like to do in terms of walking and, and actual visual, you know, access and, and sort of let him sort of make the call and then um, and then we could sort of start out to, to RSU. So, yeah. so maybe if he can get here, is it, where is he coming from? Is he, oh, is he in town? Candid. That's you. About an hour. So if we said oh, that's Chris. Yeah. <laughs> nine. So yeah. nine. Okay, yeah, he was fine with even the trail. trail. Like, one loop here. So yeah, I can Maybe talk to here. him. Figure it back here. Yeah, the earlier the better. Yeah. 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 If you want to say, say he, he can get here even between eight and eight thirty, we can mm -hmm. meet with him first and before the RSU guy comes and then go over to the school. And then I think we could sort of figure out. What he wants to do, change the but I think we probably should <laughs> give him at least a list of sort of what we have, sort of you know, possible irons in the fire. So I mean, we have the things we talked about, yeah. um, you know, the, the cross guys and Andy Smith's farm. Anything else? Oh yeah. What's in the contract? Um, What's in the original contract? <laughs> what, just gonna like, cover all the stuff with like, the five different trails we're asking them to look at is like cover that. I think it's pretty it's a it's word. Plan I, it, right? I, th I think he was really talking, yeah. We didn't sort of put a number or sort of areas. I think I think it was you know the field study and then a comprehensive assessment of you know like, what else is there and sort of yeah, it just has review areas. <laughs> If, if he wants to start with one line, like if he's an early go getter, 
I really the five. You know, I we're over there ready to rock and roll by yeah. six. Let's go. I'm up at five. So <laughs> The bank is this is past my bedtime. <laughs> I have to make the donut. I was going to say, I've been sleeping an hour at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I've been sleeping two hours. Yeah, I mean, it's just too early. Lights up, I'm out. Go for it. I'll bring him down over the backside. We should make sure. So let's get a time from him that he could get here yeah. before nine. You know, an hour it would be great if you get here at eight. You know, and then you want to contact the RSU guy. Yeah, he said he could be. A, uh, I forward you as what well. he said. Just Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning. He just couldn't do Monday or Friday. I just don't know. It just said morning, right? I don't think he had a start I time. So, so yeah. I think he's good at whatever time we. So decide. let's say let's tell him nine. Nine here. Yeah. 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 Okay, we can, we can work around that. Talk about yeah. Yeah. Overall plan. Yeah, and then. Um, and then after our, you know, Steve could sort of then say like what he wants us, what he'll need for us, you know, after mm -hmm. we do these initial things with him. Yeah. Some of those are going to be pretty good. I mean, like the Compton could be pretty quick. Yeah. This, mm -hmm. the comes to part, this could be right. pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to roll in with a map. Does someone have a contour map of the town? Well, this does. I have some in my line. classroom. I wonder if he's doing this if he has like an iPad or something that has. But this can do layers of content. He's, he's recording so data sharing. points that he'll then yes. put has, into. If Chris, yeah, if he yeah. wants to do the snowmobile trails to do walk through, um, you're available Wednesday. You could do that on Wednesday with you. The, the Fredrickson stuff. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Probably would be like interesting that. to have like some of the different landowners like. Kind of back land trust if there's stuff in town Whittier Woods which is town property just know about that. town properties would be an easy one on our end if the town is interested mm -hmm. just so he knows where those different areas are uh who would be the best person to tell us what property specifically is town property I know that one out behind like the town between the town office oh. and academy road that field area is town property I believe mm -hmm. Joel's uh, probably so oh, gonna handle yeah. that okay um uh, That's right. He's usually here. We should pass it. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't contacted, I meant to contact KLT. Yeah. But I, I will try to get a hold of them before, uh, before he comes. Woodbury. Woodbury? That's, it's not town owned, but it's. Yeah. Is so that the Stanton? Yeah. Love, which is. Yeah. Well, that's, that's more Andy Smith, too, because I guess he connects. Of? Some part of this property connects there. Yeah, I don't think it connects directly, but it's close. I think you can go almost from this property via public road. To okay. Land trust yeah. might be Sean Luke, the yeah. art teacher's husband. What's Norris Island? Is that Kennebec Land Trust? I don't know. It might be Norris Island. I don't know. Where's one in? Uh, Andrew Scoggin Scott and my oh, so that might be Andrew Scoggin Land Trust or Andrew Scoggin. So, what did you want to know? What Milk House connected to the no, Woodbury. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Preserve <laughs> <laughs> or whatever they call that. The preserve. Uh, it was an acorn first. It's down off Carver Road across the stream on the other side of that. Kind of the intersection. CM, okay. CMP. Actually, that's another one. Central Maine Power Property. Usually, that's central Maine Power, yeah. power Lines. And we do have power lines that go down through the South Monmouth area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a nice one. He does research and figure all that out as well for us. Like, Especially if we were looking at ATV accessibility, getting out to green via the power lines in South Monmouth, that would um, be an opportunity, maybe. But there's yeah. some water way out. Right thing. Yeah. So I'm looking at this this kind of a schedule preliminary. RSU two, Catsland, Thompson Fairgrounds, mm -hmm. 
It's an all. Yeah. It's likely the better part of Tuesday morning. Yeah. Wednesday, or sorry, Tuesday afternoon, maybe like drive time, just drive around to kind of different areas. Maybe we haven't identified or whatever. See if there's any thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, and then Wednesday, Fredrickson's, eventually Milkhouse, Woodbury, and town property, as we identify Whittier Woods. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. 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 And then 3 p.m. debrief is still reasonable and fine. Or... Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. Cool. I've got kids till four, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me do. Let me contact Dennis about um, the twenty second. Yeah. Do we ever think about adding the, the apartments that are down there when you take the right onto the Barrettes or whatever it is? To, to weave that into part of it? That might, yeah. To Marty Bus right up to Mar the I was going to say Marty Bus. Marty Bus. Marty and there used to be a way to get down through there. Boomin, the Marty Boomin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, he may be willing to allow something like that because he said that he would allow the use of the snowmobile trail in mm -hmm. the summertime for other purposes. Um, snowmobile trail doesn't get that close to the apartments, but he might be able to it's, do a spur off that. It's dry down there. That's, that's, well, that's, Marty's pretty much got it open up to field now, yeah. probably right down to the... Yeah, he does flows, down there. So maybe if... He, if people yeah. stayed on the back side of this field, I don't know. Yeah, it would have to probably run edge along, along the edge. Along the edge and then head in. Yep. Because that would be a great way to bypass the, the blue road. It's mm -hmm. just it's insane to go on it, walking, riding, or anything. Yeah. Traffic's too much. Yeah. But even if we worked it for ATV or side by side on the edge. You could bypass that whole piece and you'd be right at Compton, just about, you know, and right in the middle of the road, middle middle of the downtown, per se. The Davis family used to own just beside um, the apartments there, in between the apartments and that next house up on the right next to um, Mrs. Cottrell's place that um, Darren Burnham yeah. owns now. Just one more house before you get there. It's basically that swampy area between the apartments and there that um, Cleveland Davis owned, and I think now um, Scott Davis and his family oh, really? have that. They did. I don't know if they still were right. not on that, but between Darren, be and... that. between Darren and Marty, is Catherine Jewell. Um, yeah, Catherine Jewell, and then between uh, oh, no. Jewell, oh, right here, that Pete, that like, like Pete uh, the axe shaped yeah. piece, yeah. that would be uh, now. that would be uh, Leland Davis, the Blue Road Davis family. Was that <laughs> Blue Road? Right? <laughs> Blue, Road. Blue, Blue Road, yes. That's Blue Road where the giraffe is, but on the opposite side of the road. Yes. No, we yes. have giraffe. They put a bear, a giraffe. Do they have a permit for that? I don't know, but the horses are always looking at like, <laughs> I'm going to die. It's not alive. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We'll get with number uh, updates on trail sets. Yeah, I think yeah. I think we're good. So Piper property. Um sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> you can, no, it was good. Oh that one? Was that, I think we're I think we're yeah. Safe. yeah. So um yeah. And the RSC two, I mean just I mean, the RSC two meeting I thought was good. Well. Okay, we down there. Yep, RSC two meeting went great. We got approval. Sweet. We put that out there on the email, so tweet. They were supportive. What was it, what was up with the Piper property? Who went to that meeting? We haven't had it. Was, no, was no, oh, it's coming up. It's, well, it's still it's whenever the planning board. They put their papers in though. Okay, okay, so the papers have, are in. Oh. That, that I was wondering because they so went in last. So, 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 so it'll right be the next meeting. Next meeting. Mm -hmm. And uh, did it, did anyone go to the no, planning well, board? No, Chris. Chris. Yeah. Okay. Contacted. 
Steve, it sounded like it would be better just to wait. Well, and David, I mean, we could go and listen to their meeting, but they didn't want to hear from us. <laughs> yeah, I you told me. They had other things. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, okay. We'll... We've <laughs> <laughs> um, got no sound whether that but, development is a elderly community or a young community or a, or a trail goes in and out. We can just ask that trail goes in and out, but Yeah, let's see what uh, I know at our last snowmobile club meeting, um I I had sent an email a few weeks ago and they did receive it. I haven't heard anything back, but one of our club members is actually gonna be doing some bush hogging over there for them. And he had talked with them and they were open to which I already knew we were open to trails this year. It sounds like they're still willing to figure something out going into the future as well. Uh, as far as the trail help them. there. Right. So, Imagine advertising it. Yeah. Um, I also have spoke with some of the abutting landowners that we have trail going through. Um, specifically, used to own Lassards, and um, they're open to potentially having some public access, um, maybe from the school to help access. And honestly, I think the best way to access from the school is just to run the very edge of everybody's property lines across the back. So you're not going right through the mm -hmm. middle of anybody's property. It's just kind of a and it, but it is pretty wet back there. That's the only thing um, as you follow that. It's another, to line. another grant for another What's day. That? Even today? Uh, yes, yes. Really? Uh, even this summer, and it stays pretty wet on the back side of the academy uh, properties, as well as the main, where those Main Street and Academy properties abut. It's uh, just lying pretty much. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that's heading out through there. Strong. It really is. But, yeah, you sink right in. So uh, there is a, the um, next week. There's the comprehensive planning commission has, committee has a meeting on the twenty fourth, um, and it sounds like we're welcome to go to that. So I think it'd probably be worthwhile. Okay. Six, we should. I, I should have, have people at the comprehensive plan. Yeah. Okay. Thursday twenty fourth. Yeah, twenty four six thirty here. Our next one is the 29th. And then we have December. Our next meeting? October 29th and 11th, oh, 19th. Jesus, November. Sorry. 11th, 19th. They just wanted to. We, 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 we only have one meeting. Must run into something. Uh, well, it's election, Thanksgiving. And we have three meetings. In, so, uh, October. So anyway, so anybody else going to the, the were you gonna to go to that conference? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go back okay. to that. Okay. So we'll cover that. Um uh, the Clumston Hall Trail. I don't know if any if Dennis is um has, has he said anything if he come to the um uh, economic development. Yeah. Um, yeah. Community yeah. groups to involve. It's a new business right now. Okay, right. so it's uh, KLT. You know, so who is? Did you say uh, that you thought KLT the person you yeah. mentioned? John Luke. John, John Luke. Luke. Yeah, last name. Damon. Damon. Terry. Terry. I think John Luke Terry. Yeah. I, I just think he said, yeah, the GIS guy for them, or okay. map guy for them. Yeah. Any any other groups that we should be thinking no. should I'm connecting to the scouts. So if we think the, the small owners of the main um, property off Academy Road, or they oversee some property off Academy Road between there and 202, like the Musage's old property. Or domains, I guess it would be. Mm. I think. I don't know how that works. We'll open up. Uh, that's a new person uh, that owns the nine lot subdivision off Academy and Main Street. Should we get a hold of the bird sanctuary people? Is that something? 
Mm -hmm. Is that Woodbury? Which were the bird sanctuary? Yeah, Woodbury. Woodbury. Yeah, see if they'll allow ATVs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I guess the question for them would be ins and outs. Like, is there a place where we can get into there from a different trail that would connect to the greater hub of the town? I mean, it's just connecting the dots with the, the planning guy. So, you know, how do we connect this trail to that trail, this trail to that trail? Is it possible with walking or um, Can we go back to the main small woodlot owners? Maybe have a new name, but that's the one they used to use. Um, it's a big parcel on two hundred two. Yeah, and I think I think that's actually still private land. I think it's just something they may oversee or they manage. manage yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe they do occasional things. wood harvesting. Or yeah. Uh, did, is there small. snowmobile trails? Well, across the domain sold property, we have. Okay. Um, that is something that we go across part of that. Okay. But that's the only. I think I can think of. Hugh the master used to hunt out there too. So occasionally they'll statistically likely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the non? It'd be so worth it. It's more. I mean, how many? Really how many? Is this more than a hundred acres? Um, I don't know how many the acres that is. I think that maybe like forty or so. The larger piece out there would be. Uh, Piper's property, which is I think about like two hundred fifty something. So the it says it's sixty three point oh three acres that the Small Woodland Owner Association okay. owns right there. They own it, and then that's what they they're listed as the owner. Yeah, that's who I send the landowner permission to. Sorry. And then Piper is listed as ten sixty three Main Street LLC. Is Main Street LLC at our BZ Main, and that's 126 acres right there. Sounds made up. But I think his brother used to live in BZ, and his brother owned on the other side of the riding range. Sold oh, which Piper? Brother of Guy. Yeah. Guy's brother. Don was from Don. Yeah. yeah. So he, I, had, he had a store in BZ or something. Yeah, yeah so I think it's listed as. The Main Street LLC. This one. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Randy, I can't talk. <laughs> so is it worth uh, should we do we yes. contact? Those folks, small woodland, is that something good? Do I get it ready for the guy on the 22nd, 23rd? Yeah, I can. Uh, I don't know that I have any phone number. I'll, I'll look at it. It might that just one. be a drive by if we have time. Yeah, well, I think it might there's be worth a sign up there. Yeah. When you go down, because they just harvested it. And there is on 202. I don't know if there is. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, business yeah okay business. um so i had uh rudy johnson call he, he was um he was my neighbor he owns twin ponds uh oh did he was look he's a history, history buff um so what he was talking to me about is as we do build trails how important historical signage would be on it so not mm -hmm. just like you know how hard is this trail or where does it go but the you know, history of which like whittier woods not our ballpark, but Whittier Woods would have stuff about the Abenaki living there. And um, bless other, you. Bless you. The, the Monmouth Walk, the, the walk here, mm -hmm. like Monmouth would have maybe stuff about Admiral Joe Fowler, who was um, a Walt Disney designed Disney World. And Walt Disney said, not for um, Admiral Joe Fowler, Disney World would not have happened. Like little things like that, little quick. Like he wanted saw historical stuff on there would be important. And I guess I don't know, is his house still there? Do you may know Joe Fowler's house? He actually grew up in the farm out of Stan. Oh, it's this way. Thing. Okay, not that way. Right. So he was just talking about how information like the Cumston property, um, 
there used to be an old hobo jail. He called it the hobo jail. I told Dennis about it. Dennis said the hobo house where people, the, the hobos would get off the train, get ushered by the constables to the house. They'd get fed a meal. So they would stay out of the local barns because local farm owners are worried about the barns burning down and things like that if the hobos were living there. And then the next day they get ushered back to the train to move along. Yeah. Um, so it's cool little history, things like that. Exactly. Um, I think it would be fun on the trail. So just, I told him I'd put it on our radar. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. Yeah. Because we have um, the old fort, that's the barn, and then the, the new properties where the militia trained. Oh, cool. I mean, that'd be an interesting way to yeah. get people out on the trails, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, think, I think, you know, getting a little stuff they would, people would never have known because they're not going to yeah. look it up on their own or read. They do have five yeah. books in the museum, but they would never read it on their own. But having it on a trail might say, someone might stop, a kid might stop. You can even name the trail after something like that. Yeah. Like, Blastro. Yeah. Dennis, you're totally <laughs> doing <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Dennis will have to dress up as the hobo and take him on a walk. You can do it for how long? Um, and I know, I know we're in the, um, Chris had put this uh, rules together of uh, trail rules. And I just wanted, I just wanted to get people, pick people bring on the rules, basically. This is looking at Fredrickson's farm mostly. Um, Fredrickson, sorry, Fredrickson's uh, ski trail slash whatever. Um, rules that would be on the side and that chat GPT came up with it, but <laughs> this is now it's been edited, but um, things like, you know, what activities and what seasons are appropriate on the, on the trails and um, rules like stay on bark trails, which property leaves no trace trail hours. This is all stuff that could go on the trail by the school too, but it was really designed for the, Nordic cool. trail. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got the, the, the common picture signs. So if you would just like realistically <laughs> coming up to a sign, I'm going to look at the pictures and be like, cool, I'm doing that. I'm good. <laughs> right. I, I might skim the rules, but <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. I, I think you're missing a paragraph on the, uh, the bungee yeah. stick on the what? On the pit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, pointing into the well, there's, yeah, is there a disclaimer about the pits that's going yeah, across? Yeah, it is. The main, the main, it is right there. The pit, it, it talks about it under main law, Title 14. Poison um, Ivy, I like that. That's not oh, that's right. That's what Chat GPC told me. Is <laughs> that <laughs> did, did it really? Yeah, I was impressed with you. <laughs> it's like, yeah, right on. this is pretty oh, good. <laughs> Mess with Chris. Right? <laughs> he's got, when he's got chat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, then here when Dave asked about hunting season, just hey, it's it's private land, and if you have permission to hunt on it from a landowner, then you can hunt on it. But you need landowner permission. The trail doesn't give you permission to hunt. But if you're on the trail, be aware you probably should not be wearing your helmet with horns, and you should be wearing something else. <laughs> right. Um, Bells are recommended from October yeah. to December. So this is just something to look at um, and, and, and think over. We don't necessarily need to talk about it. The one thing I did have a question, and I threw you that question today, was about, you know, there's no motorized vehicles. It's true. But it includes e-bikes. And I don't know if e-bikes are detrimental or not to trail use. Or e-bikes. with e-bikes that they have e now are pretty much a dirt. Yeah, e-bikes, it's, it's a pretty broad... Or, you know, like I mean, it, it covers a really right. Wide but if you have a pedal assist e bike, pedal assist, would, I think, would, but there are some dirt bikes that are yeah. electric. So, I mean, they're like, <laughs> they're okay. not, and that's that's, that's not, turn, I think that would yeah. be, yeah. When you go to uh, the, like the carriage trails at uh, Acadia, yeah, Acadia, class one and two are yeah. allowed, and uh, so they I have some restrictions on grading, yeah. So, well, we could. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I don't know. It's something I can't tell. But presumably, if you own one, you know. I would say fifty no. percent. People that own one may or may not know. They may have picked yeah. it up at Martin. They don't even know what class it is. Right. Like I don't know what class ski bike I have. Right. I just use my ski bike at Lost Valley because I'm allowed, right. but I'm not allowed right. anywhere else. But I don't know what class it is. There is a class yeah. for it. Yeah. People made, but um, the e bike, like maybe a pedal assist, is must be a class. I don't know. Anyway, just things to look at, think about not as fins. we get closer to the yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> fins would not be allowed. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's a good fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have to. I mean, I think we could try to define that. Yeah, as we go forward. But I, I think the show that the priority list was interesting. Like, who defaults to who? 
know, there's um, there's a couple work. groups I'm in that have great visuals. They have those triangles. Yes. There. Yes. And the only thing I would probably change um, when you have like signal, uh, most people are like, yo, no, not the horse. Thank you. You're just going to say, hey, I'm up here. Pass it on your right. It, it's the vocally signal your presence. Probably signal. Yeah. Don't yell and spook the horse. There's a guy. There's a guy that rides in a fluorescent yellow thing on a regular cycling bike. Um, and he put a bell on because he scared the ever living daylights and it dumped a kid one day. He's like, yeah, he's like, what can I do? I'm like, just yell, hey, coming up, or yeah, and pass it on your leg. He put the little ding, 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 ding. And that's bad or good? That's great because the horses can hear ding, 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 ding. They were actually work pretty well, though. So yeah, they do. <laughs> what a dorky birthday. I think they're wonderful. Bear bells. Where are bear bells? <laughs> yeah, down south. Yeah, we have a bell on here. Here yeah. we come. <laughs> Dinner bells. Dinner bells. Oh, this is good. I mean, great. Well, yeah. Keep it going. That's all I got. Put it in the file. All right. Um, good. I think we're. They got progress. I got one. Yeah. One very minute. brief. Um, apparently, uh, one of my colleagues on the select board has requested. That there be a conversation um, uh, at the select board level to discuss the potential of zoning in Monmouth, which is kind of a big thing um, and could potentially affect what we do. So that's a train on the tracks. Don't know where it's going to go, but. Uh, just be aware that we're having a, it's the very, very earliest, very beginning of zoning. And I think it's probably in reaction to this development proposal. And we'll see. Probably, I don't even know if it's going to. Long time coming. What's that? Probably a long time coming. Oh, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Well, uh, I mean, it would be, uh, the process would be that the select board, when it's ready, would ask the planning board to come up with some ideas about zoning yeah. and make a proposal. And then there would be this whole long process yeah. of the subcommittee of the planning board to do that. And then they would come back to the select board and the select board would take a look at it and then decide if they wanted to put it on the ballot or not. Yeah. The zoning covers commercial and residential building. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm sure a whole it, everything thing of other stuff and that would include trails potentially. Livestock. Mm -hmm. Livestock, agriculture, yep. you know, you start to categorize who can do what on what parcels of land, what's the acceptable use, how big the lot size mm -hmm. would be, all that other stuff, yeah. you know. How do we get on their radar so when they do start moving on it that we have, that we can educate them on trails? Mm -hmm. I think that would be the most important thing. Yeah. Um, uh, It'll be a continuous process. There'll okay. be lots of opportunities for input. Okay. If we even have the conversation, we'll see. Okay. okay. Uh, next meeting agenda. Because I forgot to do that. <laughs> Anything? Um, so the 29th, so. Talk about elections. Who's in charge of getting things to the election people? I'm getting <laughs> stuff down tomorrow. Right. About 500 that's right. Well, tomorrow. Like, that's already done. You did do most well. I guess election site. I was thinking the main election site. That's here. 29th. Yeah. Was it? 29th, 7 p.m. here. So uh, we could review the uh, OSI. No, to the OSI. Is there anything we want to talk about when we go to the uh, Comprehensive Planning Committee? Is there anything that we can? Maybe after that committee, we'll have some. Yeah, talk. yeah. Okay. I think we need to document, and this is just coming to me. I think we need to document as we're going around with pictures and short little video clips to be able to put it in and say, hey, this is what we're doing as a trails committee, whether we put it out on a town website. Hey, would you like to know what we're doing or what this is? I don't think we have anything other than oh, I'm on it. Publicity wise, the survey is going to help with that. The survey right. will help, but I think I think we need to kind of visually put something out there. So I'm just saying, just take pictures. I can play with stuff. Okay. Just, just take pictures when you meet with them and stuff. 
Okay. I'll put it on just in terms of. I imagine it might be worth it. Probably will do that. Right? Take pictures of trails. He and... will, yeah. But I mean, to show what it's like, what is OSI and why are they here? Yeah. Well, this is what we did. Okay. Do we have a committee website website that connects to the town website? It might be nice to choose to talk to Justin about it so we can it see. It sounds like Justin is planning on having something where we can, where different committees can what, what they're periodically doing. publish information. Big mm -hmm. newsletter. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. We want to talk about that. Right yeah, let's put that in there. Publicity. Yeah. Let's talk about Elle's news. We'll talk about publicity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll so, talk about oh, so yeah. that's good now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Motion to adjourn. Second. On the table. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got to go make some phone calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't that you real? You wouldn't be very popular. Yeah. <laughs> Eight o'clock instead of the right. <laughs> it already. So uh you can't oh, yeah. oh. Turn that on. Yeah. I gotta go. Yeah. See ya. See Good ya. luck. Adios.